Hello everyone, this is Drosser Brahmanii from Gunung Kele Dang. Gunung loosely translates to mountain, and Kele Dang is... <laughs> it's some place in Malaysia. It's, it's a, sort of like a mountain or a hill in Malaysia. This is a very beautiful form. It's, it's quite small. Uh, you know, you won't, your plants really won't get bigger than about this size, which is maybe half the size of a quarter. And I really want to talk about the coloration, because they form sort of this really pale green coloration, and they're actually very hard to take photographs of because they reflect so much light that I have a hard time not getting them overexposed. So, sorry for the focus. They're, they're a really pale coloration. What I find is, if you if you really give them enough light, and I mean quite a bit of light, they'll, they'll stay this sort of pale green. They might even get a little paler under more light, which I really love. But, when you do give them enough light intensity, as you can see on this little guy, they get this red tinge, but what makes it so great is the tentacles will be this dark, dark, dark red, and the leaves will remain that really pale green. So it just, wow, it's like a breathtaking color that they can get under bright enough light intensity. That contrast is really so beautiful. And as you can see, they, they've started to flower, and... Uh, this will be the pr first horticultural seed produced in in the U.S. So, or maybe anywhere. Um, I, I know Gideon Lim, who actually discovered this species, this this form in the wild. He or originally brought the seed to the U.S., but this will be the first seed produced in the U.S. And there'll be a lot, so look out for that. And we'll be putting it on the carnivorous plants usa.com so if you guys are interested in growing this form um, go ahead and go there and or or ask me on Facebook and I might have some to offer to you guys so really really amazing form we're really lucky to get it too you know it's only in a small part of the world so thanks guys